Hey guys, the video that you're about to watch is actually something I did last year on Facebook Live and I'm pretty sure I intended to upload it to YouTube, I just never got around to it. But for what it's worth, I just wanted to share this with you guys now. Maybe it will inspire somebody or give somebody an idea. Uh, I personally have to look into this myself. A lot of times when I think about stuff, it doesn't always manifest into reality because I have so much stuff on my mind. Some things I do do, sometimes I don't do them because I put them on the back burner and then I just forget about them. So it's something I have to look into if I just find the people in the area to do something like this. But it is a little bit longer of a video, so I won't be offended if you put me on two times the speed to get through me a lot faster. It's about, I think, 18 minutes altogether, and the less I blabber now, the shorter it will be. So enjoy. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, or morning or whenever you decide to watch this video. It's evening for me. It's about 10 o'clock, uh, Sunday night. Uh, September 8th. I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. Um, I just, I don't think I even mentioned it on my Facebook, maybe. So, let me give you a backstory real quick. This is just an evangelism idea. I want to get your thoughts on it and maybe some additional ideas. Now, what I'm going to give you is kind of the bare bones idea that I have. I mean, we can flesh it out, add some meat to the bones later on, you know, get some more ideas and such. But, I just want to give my general idea, and I, I thought of different ideas pertaining to this for a while now, but I'll just give you the general idea. But first, some background information. So, um, my first job growing up was newspaper delivery. I worked for the Herald Times Reporter in Manitowoc. That's their newspaper, and I used to deliver newspapers. Uh, let's see, I believe I got the job in 1998. I was, uh, it was the summer of 1998. Right before eighth grade for me, uh, my brother quit his route, Route 94, and I picked it up right after him. Close to the house, man, I loved that job. It was, I had it for 10 years. Um, it was like maybe two, three blocks away from my house. I would run down there, um, take my bike down there. It was pretty short, um, short route. Routes back then were pretty short. Uh, so this is my first job. Um, Again, I had it for 10 years, which is a long time, and through the course of those 10 years, I actually subbed, as I got a little bit older, I subbed for a ton of routes. I was actually known as the guy, the Hero Times, to be the guy who would always say yes to taking on another route, like on the weekend, or sometimes even the week. If they were in need, they could always count on me to do the route. So I would always say yes, and I would always regret it <laughs> when it's like 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to wake up super early on. Oh, man, it was, it was crazy days, especially on Sunday, those, those thick Sunday papers, and then they added on the uh, the Chronicle. Uh, so it was a lot of work. But uh, eventually, though, I did take on a second route. I can't remember for how many years I've had that second route, uh, but that was a fantastic route. And just getting to know the people, and this is going to come up later, but getting to know the people... Um, just being in a small segment of the community. Um, to do the paper route, you know, back then anyway, the routes were a lot smaller. Now they don't even hire people under 18. It's just pretty sad, you know. Being a kid, you know, a paper route was something that you could rely on for your first job. Today it's a totally different, totally different story and not many people get the newspaper anymore as well. So anyway, did that for 10 years. Um, and then now with the job that I have, I had other I even had other delivery jobs, delivering uh, pizza for Pizza Pit for three years. That was my probably one of my favorite jobs. Uh, newspapers was awesome too. Um, just getting to know the community and the people, having that little bit, little bit of a re uh, relationship with them. They knew me, I knew them. It was great, uh, just covering a small segment of the community. It took maybe, if I run, and there's been times when I would sprint, I can get done like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's a pretty short route. I think I had between 40 and 50 customers during that time. Uh, my second route was maybe about the same number of customers. So, uh, and now, as some of you guys know, I work for the post office as a letter carrier. So I've actually been doing that now for about 10 years. So, and it's in a way it's kind of the same in that I've been blessed with being able to learn almost all the routes. I don't have my own route. I cover for five routes whenever those people are on their off days um, but they still send me other places as well if they need me um, or if the guy whose route i'm supposed to be doing comes in um, but before that when i first got hired on um, i didn't have even the position i had now basically i was kind of a sub 
uh, for where, wherever they need me. But I learned almost all the routes. You know, I would always, hey, if, if this is what you want me to do, I would do it. And that's just a little thing of um, uh, what the Bible would talk about, you know, just being faithful at your job. Um, but we can get, in, get into it to, uh, another time. But so about 20 years combined experience in delivery. Um, so I had this idea, especially thinking about routes and in terms of newspaper delivery. Now, just, just think this through with me. What if we could do something like that where, let's just use me as an example. I, I didn't start this yet, but let's just <clears throat> talk about it in terms of just one person for right now. So let's say I had a route, so to speak, where I would select, you know, I live in two rivers now, not Manitowoc. We just moved here a few months ago. I select a part of two rivers that would be my route. Let's just, we can make it as big or as small as we want. Let's just say I take like two blocks worth or something like that nearby. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, down one street uh, and then down the other for two blocks or something like that. So let's just say I would stay committed to those people. This would be my route. And I would pray for those people. I would witness to those people. That peop that, that select uh, route would be, you know, it kind of be like I'm the, the ambassador of Christ to those people. Um, or the guardian, I guess you could say, to those people. That's my route. Those are the people... Who, um, in the sense who are under me, that I would make every effort to share the gospel with them. And how we would do that, again, this is just the bare bones idea. I'll keep it really simple. Like, let's just say once a year, even just once a year, maybe a couple of times just for right now, just once a year, we can go out <clears throat> and let's just say it's like 40 or 50 houses, not even probably, and deliver maybe like a plastic bag, uh, have something gospel in there, maybe for the first time a gospel of John, and then the note saying, hey, my name is Kurt Siebold, um, kind of explain yourself a little bit, it can be a short note, and then say something to the effect of, um, you know, I'm a Christian, uh, I live in the area, and, um, oh man, I had a good way of wording it before, I can't think of it right now, but then also including that, you know, if you guys need prayer for anything, or if there's anything special I can do around your house to help you out, whatever, here's my email, my phone number, or whatever. Um, and you, address if you want. Um, and somehow, I, I wish I remember how I wanted to word it earlier, but to let them know that this is your area, you know, every six months to a year, I'll be delivering something gospel oriented to these people okay you kind of get what i'm trying to say um and then every whenever you do that you know then you pray for those people throughout the year just you know casually think about them whatever um but each year or twice a year or whatever you always give them a gospel track continue uh to let them know that you're sharing the gospel but always have something in there that leads it back to you so they know that you really legit care for them so it's really simple, guys. It takes, what, 15, 20 minutes to do, okay? A year. Going back to my other video about, you know, blowing your mind, um, you know, <laughs> how far 15 minutes can go, you'd be amazed. But just how awesome something like this could be. Get your kids involved, your family involved, whatever. So I was thinking, taking that idea, and that, uh, I was just speaking in terms of one person, what if we had routes? What if we could cover the entire city? How many routes can you do? How big do you want your route? How small do you want your route? Let's, you know, can we plan something like this where the entire church or churches can get involved? And then maybe we can, you know, have one central area where we send out, you know, the gospel oriented thing that we're going to send out, whether it be a gospel of John or a tract of some sort, maybe a little pamphlet, uh, something to that effect. Um, so it's not, because we want to make sure that we're all united doctrinally. We're not you know, just putting any old gospel tract in there and it could be, you know, something that's far-fetched or from uh, some tract company that supports heresy or something like that. So just, you know, a connected ministry, but it's guided by correct doctrine, if that makes sense, on the essentials, of course. Um, you know, if, if we're speaking about doing other churches 
and, and whatnot. Uh, uh, other Christians from other fellowships getting involved. So does that make sense? Um, so let's just say, I mean, there's probably well over a thousand Christians in Manitowoc. Let's just say like 50 of us. You know, I, I, it depends how big, small you want the roads to uh, be divided up. And if we can't cover them all at the start of this thing, you know, that's fine. I'll Maybe I'll do this. I'll just go out there and I'll just, I'll fine, I'll be the first one. Let's just give it a shot. <coughs> I'll pray about uh, what area I want to do. And, and the thing about this too, the beauty of this is that you're connected now to this specific group of people. Now I can, you know, my desire would be, oh, I just want to go all man and talk and go door to door and do something like that. Um, and, then, and I certainly will continue to do some door to door ministry, but I'm talking about a specific core group of people where they know my intentions that, you know, I love you guys. I want to share the gospel with you. If you need any prayer for anything, keep my information. And, you know, if something ever comes up, you know, I love you guys. I want to, you know, my, my overall desire is that you get saved, but if there's anything I can be of service to you, then just let me know. Give me a call, email me, whatever. So, and, and legit be able bodied to do something if they should call you really love these people. I think guys, if we did something like that, I, I just think that that can have so much impact. The, the church of God actually being involved in the community. I think this can have more far reaching effects than, than we can even realize at this point. You know, I, I just, I don't know, you know, looking back at what God has, has um, blessed me with, with my first job. And I love being outside. I love, I mean, that's, I never thought I would do the job that I'm doing right now. And, you know, I used to think every single day, like, wow, God gave me this job. Maybe there's more reason to it, you know, having this experience in delivery. Um, you know, <laughs> all the experience that I went through with trudging through the snow and it was a lot of fun. I got lots of stories um, with both jobs. Now, you know, being mill delivery, I've had that job for about 10 years, uh, just a couple months shy of 10 years and the paper out job for 10 years. So 20 years combined experience, if you're not counting, uh, pizza delivery, which I did for three years, um, and then a the little stint with Papa John's. Uh, <laughs> kind of a funny story. I actually worked for, I had four jobs at one point when I first moved to Appleton in 2008 um, or late 2007. I had my two paper or no, my one paper because I quit the second one uh, a few months prior to that. I had a paper out job in Manitowoc. I was working at Pizza Pit on the weekends in Manitowoc. My mom did the paper out during the week, but I was living in Appleton. Um, <clears throat> and then... I worked full time at Kraft, which they made pizzas there, <laughs> frozen pizzas, uh, and then uh, like Jack's Pizza and stuff like that in uh, Little Shoot. So that was my full time job. And then I also worked at Papa John's during the week. So two pizza delivery jobs, um, a paper route, and a full time job at Kraft. Now that didn't last too long, but I don't know how I got sidetracked with that. Um, but then I was there for a couple of years and I got the job here in Manitowoc for the post office and it's been great. But I don't know where that, why I was going there, but there's a little bit about me that you didn't know. So what, what do you guys think about this? I mean, there's so many ways you can probably take this or fine tune it. I just, I like the idea. I just like the idea. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a reason why I had those jobs and God was just kind of getting me equipped for, for this particular thing. Uh, I still want to do more door-to-door -door outreach. I'm really passionate about that idea. Uh, we've done different types of door-to-door -door before. Um, and, and the idea I'm talking about too, though, it's, yeah, it's going to be a miracle in itself just to find people in the church who would want to do it. It's, it, it's almost impossible to find anybody come out to share the gospel along with, side with you. You know, even hard to to talk about it in church without people wanting to change the subject. That's a story for another day. I was actually just talking to someone about that online on Facebook. But uh, yeah. For you guys who share the gospel, you know what it's like to be kind of discarded in the church. You know, when you talk about evangelism, if you're passionate about it, people look at you as like, you know, like, a, like you're a sore to the church. But, but what if, guys? I think I talked about this before. Let's, let's think about the what if scenario. Think big. You know, what can God do through us? We serve a big God. We think small. Like, oh, you know, if uh, 
we're going to share the gospel. It's invite someone to come to church, and then our pastor will share the gospel because we won't, as opposed to we can't. It's we just won't. We refuse. We refuse to. Excuse me. But what if we did something like this out there in the community? What if? You know, and, and if you move somewhere, well, then somebody can pick up your route or sub for your route, I guess. So what if it's a more, <clears throat> what if it's more than just once a year or twice a year? What if we did it, I don't know, every month even or something like that? You know, some people might get sick of you and be like, oh, can you just not deliver that anymore? Like when I was doing uh, the Herald Times job, um, there was something that we used to deliver. They stopped it at one point. Um it wasn't the Laker shopper. It was something else. The Sunday extra or ugh, I can't remember what it was called, but we had to deliver it on the weekends. Um, wasn't not talking about the Chronicle. Uh, the Chronicle was eventually added on. But anyway, it was something that everybody got. Okay. If you weren't a subscriber, you got this. It was a free thing that they gave out. And eventually some people might say, hey, I, I refuse that. Just don't deliver that anymore. Then, okay, then so be it. But a lot of people, they still accepted it. You know, it could be the same way. Um, we could deliver something once a month, two months, one and a half months, whatever. Um, just let the guys know, hey, you know, we, you know, we're we're still here. We're still praying for you. And you can make maybe make a personal message too. Hey, I've been praying specifically for this. Just a little card of some sort. Just you know, type it, type something on there, and then. Uh, tracked or whatever or maybe just a card i don't know um we can have it in these little baggies that you just hang on your doorknob or whatever it doesn't have to be um too spiffy kind of like my exit movie fires it doesn't have to be anything too advanced you know um so i think i covered it what do you guys think i wish i could have a conversation like face to face with some of you I don't think I ran this idea to anybody before. Uh, forgive me if there's somebody out there who I did talk about this to. Uh, I just, guys, I want to do this. Maybe I'll, I'll try it out. I'll think of something. I don't know what to call it. Maybe we can think of a name. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a good name out there. I'm not very creative. I, I can't think of anything right now. Maybe something, something reporter. Like the Hero Times reporter? Eh, mm, mm, nah, I don't know. So I'll think of something, but something that conveys the idea that we love you guys, all the people out there in the community. Um, this is the gospel. Be frank about that. Be upfront about that. Do not be ashamed of the gospel. It's power unto salvation. Uh, but just present it in a nice way, in love, wrapped in love, because you're going to be talking about, hey, I, if you guys want me to pray for you, if you want me to do any service for you, is there anything we can do? Maybe even write down some areas that you... Uh, special that your uh your specialty is in you know if you know how to do housework or whatever cut the grass shovel snow and then do it you know obviously you can't do everything all, at all times but just do it guys just love the people so all right well what do you guys think let me know message me email me pray the gospel at gmail.com talk to me on facebook comment down below uh, if you don't like the idea, then don't comment. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, just, I accept pushback. That's fine. Um, yeah, well, I got nothing left, nothing else left. So I don't want too much dead air. So let me know, you guys, and uh, talk with you later. God bless.